Happening here, it's the Spooky Zoo at Roger Williams Park Zoo. The event offers Halloween fun for the whole family. And here to tell us more about it are Sue Johnson and Lou Parati, who have brought along some spooky friends. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. So let's start with you. When and where is this event happening? Spooky Zoo is this weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday at the Roger Williams Park Zoo, and it runs from 10 to 3. And admission, admission what do we need to know? Admission is included. Um, so if you're a Zoo member, it's included in your admission. Uh -huh. For those that are doing general admission, any child that comes in a costume, 12 and under, admission's half price. Oh, that's a great deal. And you said it's very family friendly, correct? It's very family friendly. We have a lot of great things for kids to do. Mm -hmm. We have a spooky treat trail in Tropical America. We have a wonderful games tent. We have entertainers, music. Of course, there are characters to meet. Great pirate encounter. And then, of course, there's the animals. We have wonderful pumpkin enrichment, and you can do meet and greets in Hasbro's Our Big Backyard. Oh, that's great. And that exhibit has been very successful since it's, it's been wonderful opened. exhibit. Great for kids. All right, Lou, let's get to these uh, creepy, spooky creatures that we're holding here. First of all, I got to tell you, Lou, when we were holding them, uh, you warned me to keep them away. Yes, from, from each one other. other. Yes, they, <laughs> it could turn into a potential prey predator uh, situation. We wouldn't want that. Definitely not. Well, let's talk about the little guy that you got in your hand with that bright blue tongue. Yeah, and he's, he's <laughs> sticking it out there cooperating this morning. This is a blue tongue skink, ap okay. aptly named. Um, the tongue serves a purpose. It, it's a defense mechanism. If they're threatened uh, by a predator, they'll throw their mouth wide open and stick that big blue tongue out to kind of ward off uh, a potential uh, predator. Mm -hmm. um, they're uh, from Australia, New Guinea area um, is, is where, they're, where, where they're found. Mm -hmm. What um, do they eat? They're pretty omnivorous. They'll eat anything from small mammals to insects and some plant materials too. So they're they're not picky. They'll even eat carrion if they run into a you know something dead. They'll they'll even feed on that. Uh -huh. So they're pretty uh, varied in their diet. Um, they give birth to live young, um, oh, wow. no eggs. So when they do give birth, they're just little miniature skinks, um, oh, look just cute. just like mom. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful animals. Um, yeah, they look beautiful. And I gotta say, they I mean that. Uh, blue tongue skink kind of resembles the snake that you have here too um, with their their skin the scales yep yeah um, of course all reptiles are covered in scales mm -hmm. um, and they're made up of the same thing our fingernails but very, are very very smooth very almost. smooth yep. and talk about this little guy that I have in my hand okay that's a Honduran milk snake mm -hmm. um, he comes from Honduras Nicaragua right down into Costa Rica um, milk snakes are a pretty big group of, of snakes um, ranging all the way into North America all the way down into Central America South mm -hmm. America um, Egg layers, they're constrictors. They're, I was going to say, it's yeah. uh, kind of wrapping itself yeah. around me a lot. They're very powerful predators. Um, they're mm -hmm. non-venomous. As a matter of fact, they will eat venomous snakes. Um, oh, okay. Um, I'm and, glad I'm not a venomous snake. <laughs> and most of the milk snakes are, are very brightly colored, um, mm -hmm. often mimic the coral snake, which is venomous. You know, the old red touch yellow, kill a fellow saying there. Uh -huh. um, and this guy, the red touches the black, <laughs> so he's, he's perfectly... Uh, Perfectly safe. And he's doing his own thing. You can, of course, find other spooky creatures like this at the Spooky Zoo. And for more information, you can head to WPRI.com.